in the shorter term, five or 10 years, I'm going to argue that this is positive for jobs in the following way. If you look at the history of automation and economic growth, automation starts with the lowest status and most dangerous jobs and then works up the chain. So if you think about assembly lines in cars and you know furnaces and all these sort of very, very dangerous jobs that our four forefathers mm. did. They don't do them anymore. They're done by robotic solutions. Or one, in other words, and typically not a humanoid ro robot, but an arm. What happens to the people? Well, it turns out that the person who was working with the, the welder, who's now operating the arm, has a higher wage. And the company has higher profits because it's producing more widgets. Mm -hmm. So the company makes more money and the person makes more money. But in the vision that we're talking about, every single person will have a computer assistant that's very intelligent it helps them perform. You take a person of normal intelligence or knowledge and you add a you know, sort of accelerant, they can get a higher paying job. Are there more people employed or fewer? The answer is more people with higher paying jobs after an awful lot of people screaming at each other.